after ram mandir event uh, how has nation's politics changed so we have to see ram mandir in different states point of view mm-hmm. basically what people say ram mandir have a great impact in elections in north india it don't have any impact in elections of south india this is a very common narrative that is being discussed throughout india but what i feel personally it has more impact in south india than north india because even without ram mandir bjp is going to sweep elections in madhya pradesh bjp is going to sweep elections in rajasthan bjp is going to sweep elections in gujarat bjp is going to sweep elections in uttarakhand uttar pradesh and haryana jharkhand so everywhere without ram mandir bjp is anyway going to sweep election ram mandir happened only in january but bjp sweeped all three states in all three states chatisgarh madhya pradesh and rajasthan in december so even with or without ram mandir bjp is going to sweep throughout north india this is the fact so with ram mandir the vote share of bjp will increase in north india but seats are going to remain the same because anyway they are going to win almost 90% of seats in north india so ram mandir is not going to make any difference when it comes to number of seats that bjp is going to win throughout north india it may make uh, one or two seats extra last time they had a strike rate of 94% in constituencies where bjp and congress uh, had a fight directly so in, uh, throughout india basically in throughout north, india north throughout india but that that's basically in north india because in south uh, uh, there is no direct fight between bjp and congress except karnataka so that's basically north india not only south i think from west bengal to odisha uttar yeah. pradesh and tamil nadu there is no direct till, bjp congress Kerala, fight there in no. east there is no bjp congress fight in south except karnataka there is no bjp congress fight in west except gujarat and uh, sorry maybe west you can say rajasthan also we can see rajasthan as a part of north india or west india we don't have bjp congress fight in maharashtra except for few constituencies in some constituencies there may be bjp ncp fight because ncp and congress are equal partners um, in the alliance mm-hmm. there is no bjp congress fight in punjab so the basic uh, bjp congress fight comes in these states such as gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh there is no bjp congress fight in uttar pradesh which is considered north there is no bjp congress fight in bihar also maybe around some 20% of constituencies or 30% of constituencies we or rjd have a better share in bihar than congress in the opposition alliance so there may be more bjp uh, sir not uh, bjp rjd fight than bjp congress fight in bihar so bjp congress direct fight comes only in states such as rajasthan madhya pradesh gujarat chatisgarh uttarakhand so himachal pradesh so these kind of states and in south it's in karnataka so in these states bjp had a strike rate of 94 percentage last uh, 2019 2019 okay. it's a interesting strategy yeah yeah so if uh, with ram mandir it may go till 96 or 97 percentage which is very negligible so anyway even without ram mandir bjp is going to sweep all these states and they will get a vote share above 50% so the ram mandir may make bjp vote share go from 50% to 60% or 55% to 65% so this may happen but once they breach 50% they are going to sweep the state so even before ram mandir they are sweeping north india but when it comes to south india last election they swept karnataka Mm-hmm. but this time karnataka may be little bit tricky for bjp because congress came to power with brute majority and they have in state election they are having some 78% more vote share than bjp still when it comes to lok sabha elections bjp will have upper hand in karnataka because in 2004 2009 2014 and 2019 all four times bjp performed better than congress in lok sabha elections mm-hmm. and in last time they had a brute majority in karnataka bjp swept karnataka in lok sabha elections but this time maybe it may become little bit tricky but they had a, they had an alliance with jds, JDS. and okay. ram mandir issue may make sure that this election may not be tricky and bjp will again uh, sweep karnataka in lok sabha elections so in karnataka as congress came to power so the situation became little bit tricky but ram mandir will help bjp in making sure that bjp can repeat the performance of 2019 in karnataka okay so in karnataka it ha- can have a better impact than north india because in north india bjp 
swept the state uh, in December in three states: Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, and Rajasthan. One month before, one and a half months before the Ram Mandir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even the Ram Mandir even uh, didn't happen this January. Uh, hypothetically, let's assume mm. it's going to happen only in 2024 December. Hypothetically, mm-hmm. even in this situation, BJP would have swept all these states that they won in December 2023. Okay, but uh, in Karnataka they lost in May 2023. So Ram Mandir will help BJP in Karnataka. In Telangana, Ram Mandir will help BJP. Telangana have lot of Vishnuvai temples, Ram temples, Vishnu temples, Lord Narasimha temples, Lord Varaha temples, Lord Krishna temples. So Andhra Telugu states are known for Vishnuism. Okay, so this Ram Mandir event will help BJP to improve their vote share in Telangana. And the number of seats that BJP last time BJP won four seats in Telangana, mm-hmm. and they were on the right path to become the opposition party in Telangana, but unfortunately they lost lost the track somewhere, and the Congress came to power and BRS became the opposition. So BJP is only the third party in Telangana again. But last Lok Sabha election they won four seats in Telangana. Mm-hmm. This time it may go till eight or nine, irrespective okay. of they coming in third position in. 2023 Telangana Assembly elections. Okay. So Ram Mandir may play a vital role in this. So okay. let's assume they are going from four seats to nine seats in Telangana. Then the the seats gained by BJP because of Ram Mandir uh, after Ram Mandir mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. in Telangana is more than the whole North India itself because mm-hmm. anyway they are going to sweep North India. So, oh, you mean the extra gain in number of seats yeah. due to Ram Mandir is negligible. In North in India, North India, because they have they are already in the game there. Yeah, see, let's assume okay. the bot, we are, the bottle is full of water. So even though we add more water, anyway, the bottle is going to be full. So BJP is having complete hold of North India. They are they are going to sweep Hindi Bill. They are going to win twenty six out of twenty six in Gujarat, and they are going to win eight seventy five out of eighty in Uttar Pradesh. Last time they won sixty five. Okay. Because Maya Vadi and Akhilesh Yadav were united in twenty fourteen. They won seventy two. So they are going to repeat the twenty seven or twenty fourteen performance. In Madhya Pradesh, they won all the seats in. Um, I think maybe one seat they lost. I'm not sure about it. Mm. So they swept the Madhya Pradesh I think, in. Uh, Kamal Nath seat, Chindwara or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I I don't know. I'm not sure. In Rajasthan, last time Ashok Gehlot's son last lost his seat. Okay. Jyotiraj Singh Sindhya was in Congress at that time. He lost his seat in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. So they won almost ninety nine percent of just of seats in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Chhattisgarh, all these four states together. Mm-hmm. 